right now. In fact, Wadi Rob. Uh, 3 a.m. actually in France right now, and oh. they are watching, and they are live. So shout out to the international community, shout out to the Smash Bros, and of course, shout out to our losers match. Blue Tony versus Wadi, game one on Town and City. We're gonna try to see with Wadi how he answers to Blue Tony's incredible spacing and unmatched aerial game. Yeah, I feel like this is one of those matchups where like Rob is definitely going to set the pace of the game. He's gonna shoot these projectiles and, and set the aerial space with neutral. It's gonna be really hard for Wadi to get in. Wadi trying to charge that gyro, and it looks like Luton got a little too greedy there. Okay. No huge combos just yet. Wadi looking for that double B boot. At this point, he's getting a lot off of, off of the aerial interactions here. Going for the land and cover. Neutral, it mm -mm, yep. nullifies that. Very hard to deal with neutral or falling down. Both of these characters have a very tricky neutral air. Wario's, of course, has two hits and pops you up, and Wadi has a 360 neutral air. Goes all around his body. Has a little bit of delay, too. A little bit of delay on the startup. Bluton, he's saving his jump to avoid that down air. Very clever. Yeah, that down air actually stays out for a while. Very hard to dodge. Now waiting in here. Wadi with about a 30% lead. But of course, playing against Wario percents almost don't matter, especially when you have Waft on deck. Yeah, Waft will charge over time, so then he will have the chance to use it as a combat tool or at least to steal out of stock. Yep. Or if he takes out the first stock without it, then he can use it in the next one. Okay, ooh, that back air barely whiffing. Glutony trying to do an anti air with his own up tilt. Down throw, going to put him into the ground. Glutony cleverly getting away from that, using his own air dodge on collapse. Now, Wadi at 90, because you gotta be careful because Glutony is at full rage. Of course, 150% is full rage. All your moves are as strong as they can be. It's not where you want to be at the receiving end. If you're at 112. I believe he definitely was trying to set up up to Wadi here. Ooh, down there. That was very up. unexpected. Yeah, the, the big delay that definitely caught yeah. him off guard. The dribble, even surviving another nair. 179 right now for Glutony. He's waiting here. Snaps to the ledge. Oh. I believe he was looking for up to right here. The platforms will help. All right. Great delay once again. And Wadi killing Wario, but only at 211%, which is his own percent backwards. That is ridiculous. Yeah, he just did not want to die at this point in time. He really wanted to make sure he got that first stock. And Wadi running away with it. That back there lasted for a very long time. Uses the laser to catch the landing wow. and the gyro as well. Ooh, Ooh gets the, the last little bit of side B here. No double jump for Wario. He forced to use his waft to recover. Of course, it's one of the other uses of it. Finds the kill too. Actually, all things considered, a smart play from Blue Tony. But now he needs to wait another cycle of time before he gets the waft again. Three claps and up to a fourth clap. Okay. And the crowd comes alive for him as well. Very dangerous combo there. Using the opto to extend it. Oh, he just went straight on with the bike. He wasn't even worried of anything. At this point, Wadi has a pretty decent lead, especially because he doesn't have to worry about Waft for a little bit. Yeah, he can wait for a good bit. Nice use of that laser. Okay. Yeah, Wadi has exceptional aim. He will shoot the laser to get you as you're flying away from another move. He charged that down smash, trying to find him. That would have definitely killed Gluttony. Finals way around it. We haven't seen much of the bite from Gluttony. We haven't really seen much use of uh, Wadi trying to cut the bike and throw it back at him. Up, he's a snap to the ledge, spinny arm, but it does not connect. He What's barely the option? Oh, they're fighting him completely under the level. Doing a dog fight off stage, going way low. Risky for Gluttony, considering he had no bike. It's okay, he ate the bike for 1% heal. And oh, one, hit the snipe! And again, he dies, but once again at 200 plus percent. That is some very, very good awareness. He knew that the forward from Rob was not a true combo to follow up from there, and then he immediately hit him for it. Yep. Aaron to down tilt. It's that is spinning it. Arms, and that would be the game right there. Great game one from Wadi. Two stalking Blue Tony. And that is the same way that he came back in that set against Samsora. Wadi was very much behind in the set, and then he threw the side B <laughs> to get that very early kill on Samsora, clutching this win into top eight. And that is also the same move that is winning him a very important set right now in top eight losers. The, the ultimate power up, you have all the momentum going into this game too. Where do you think Blue Tony goes? What stage does he pick? I believe that. Battlefield? I, I oh, think he might just run it back. Yeah, he actually back. does, yeah. All right, running it back. Because in terms of stages, right, like platform stages are gonna be very annoying for you to move around, and then FD, you're just gonna have nowhere to land against projectiles. So it didn't really seem like there was a stage that could really help him. Right. 
I do think the key here for Butoni will be using a little more bite. He has to take advantage of the fact that Rob's body, huge hurt box. At any point, oh, he went for one there, I see. But it looks like Wadi is maybe getting aware of that already. He's staying just enough distance away where if Wadi, where, I'm sorry, if Butoni whips an aerial or whips a grab or a forward smash, he has his own barrage of assault going in. Kind of so pretty far, pretty even. I mean, it takes a while for both of these characters to actually die from a move. Trading Nair with up air. Trying to use down to cover the tech chase right there. Blue with a smart option. You get up attack that back air will kill. That's right. Deceptively strong move. It also goes a little further than you expect. Two Nairs up tilt. Oh, Ooh, he wait waited for the he air waited. dodge. Nair, what is this chain zero? Oh what my goodness, this chain changes. zero! What? The crowd comes alive for what was a zero to death, I'm pretty, pretty sure. Pretty much, yeah, yeah. Just the way he waited for the spot dodge, the way he optimized his follow-ups to, to continue the combos from up to line up here, and then the way he finished it up with the waffle, making, making sure that what he was going to the right and not to the left, guaranteed the kill. Absolutely beautiful. That conversion. was about as optimized as play as you can get. Reads and reactions both combined. And now Wadi, a huge hill to climb for him. What is what is Gluton's answer? Is he gonna continue aggression or kinda lead back a little bit now that he has a huge lead? This might be a three stun. It might be a down air. That okay. is not no no three stun. Why do you say no? The commentator curse, the classic. But still. I thought to, to see a one two stock into a reverse two stock potentially from one game to another is one of my favorite things about Smash. We call that instant adaptation. No fear. Yeah, all things considered, the set has been absolutely wild. It seems very back and forth, especially from the first match to the second match. It almost looks like completely different play from both players. It does. And with each passing second, Blue Tony has one more chance to land a waft. Going low. Oh, might have been. Okay, I thought he had no bike, but he did. I like the way he bounced the laser just to make sure that if he missed the ledge or jumped too early, then he's going to get hit. I like that fake out gyro from Wadi into his own chain. Trying to make something happen here. Maybe a few more hits into, into conversion to a potential good back air or dare. One more back air will probably yeah. do it around the ledge. Not a good time right now for 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 uh, for uh, Blue Tony to go, be going off stage, especially with a lead this big. Oh, he's looking for the edge right here. Gets the forwarder. Rob maybe running out of fuel a little bit Ooh. soon. Manages to land though. Okay, Gix went for the hard read um, up smash, but then Wadi came down, found his own down smash. Can he turn this into a one touch situation? Okay, lots of whiffs, and there's the waft, fully charged, bite, almost gonna kill. Very good mix-up as well, using the, oh, he dodged the bike with their very good yeah. awareness. And the best way to kill a machine is another machine, <laughs> throw an entire motorcycle at him. Wadi Everybody. actually coming back here, oh, right to one to one to stocks, yeah. Uh, we've seen Wadi win these, and Yo. basically full rage. Oh, that should be it, yep. we're going to game three. Oh my goodness, these players are thirsty right now. Such, I still can't get over that string. Well, you know, the reason what won him that game was that impeccable zero death. If that had not been there, this would have been the last like, situation. It actually would have been, yeah. The, that combo did actually win him the entire game, which is why you want all these big plays to come into fruition. Wario is a very combo-heavy character, so, I mean, for him to land that combo is pretty much yeah. the point of playing Wario. And now he's feeling good about himself. He knows what he can land. Contender for combo of the year. At least combo of the tournament right there. So how does Wadi answer back here? I mean, that that match was a little bit overwhelming. Like, what is the goal here? Just not get combo like that next game? I feel like the one thing we saw more than anything is how many times he got clapped in a row. He's got to be careful with his vertical space here. He has to think, which stage am I familiar with the platforms the most? Which stage allows me to get comfortable, to keep my distance away from Wario, and more importantly, to find a spinny arms kill off either side? I feel like one very good place to start with is the fact that Wadi was doing a lot of these spot dodges, and then we're getting definitely red. And then he was using the clap and the upload to punish that. And then every time Wadi was landing with a neutral, he would kind of use a neutral and then delay it a little bit and then land. And then he was definitely abusing that as well. So exactly. those, those two habits are pretty good places to start with. I'm not sure if Wadi is going to tackle that or maybe play differently, but we will find out. But so far, we hit, we're headed into game three. Yeah, and as I watched this, I'm reminded that earlier I said there was uh, three countries representing, actually four countries, of course, with Glutoni representing France, alongside Canada, Mexico, and the United States. Oh, wait, wait, ooh. I was oh. afraid he took his double jump right there. I thought so too. I always imagine if Wario had a spike, what a deadly character would be. Like I said, that's a, a, against zero. That was five claps in a row, 87 for Wadi. That's, this is exactly what Glutoni wants. 
He's got a huge target, a huge body, and that weight is essential for it. One more of these back off the side, and it might kill him. <gasps> Hold on. Went way low. I thought that was a mistake for a second. Yeah, Smash from Platform was just really good for Wario here. I, I'm pretty sure that what he likely did not go Final Destination, mainly because it was banned. I feel like the platforms in general can only really help Wario in this yeah. day, or at least to extend these combos if your goal is to avoid them. One thing is for sure, as Blue takes his first stock, one of these players is going home after this match. Trying to find a Nair on shield, but not popping up quite yet. Oh my oh, goodness. Oh, gets the neutral. There it is going to be a lot of damage. Oh. He landed the platform oh. to extend the combo. Looking for the landing option. Finds the forwarder here. Misses the Texas option, but still, that is 68% damage, roughly. Blue Tony still following that wave of momentum. He got that second stock on game two. It looks like the exact same player. Wadi struggling for an answer, and that barely will not kill Wadi. Finding one more chance in the second stock. The gyro last second, and somehow, Blue Tony from the nether recovers and still finds the lead for a three stock to one stock lead. It's looking rough for Wadi, zero. He's absolutely popping up. That is going to be the kill, though. But I mean, Wadi has been the player to make comebacks. He made a comeback to get into this top eight in the first place. So this is it. This is game three. You have to imagine you came all this way. This is a 1,200-man tournament. You're this far. Is this how you want it to end, or will you fight back to the bitter end? Wadi looking for a Nair on shield. Trading fares and, and Nairs. Yeah, so far at this point, you want to be as patient as you can. You are pretty much at the brink of death here. Wadi needs everything he can get at this point to make this comeback happen. But the problem is, the more careful you Ooh. are, the more you let that WAP charge up. Oh, and there's another back here. Wadi probably two hits away, and that might be the turn for him. Another fair from Gluton. He's showing no discomfort here. Right out of fuel at this point. That might be it. That is it. That is it. Gluton survives in bracket, knocking out his opponent, Wadi. Still great effort from him, getting seventh 